this is going to be our first example um, of using the chain, chain rule. However, um, to do this problem first, we're just going to use our sum property and our rules that we already know how to use. Then we'll go and see how this problem would be used with the chain rule. Okay, so in order before I take the derivative, I'm going to multiply this polynomial out. So if I multiply the polynomial out, I'm going to get 4x squared plus 2 times 3 gives me 6. Double that gives me 12x plus 9. And then now I need to multiply it by 2x plus 3 again. Okay, you can freeze the video and go ahead and multiply that out. But when you multiply that out, you should end up with 8x to the third um, plus 36x to the second plus 54x plus 27. Okay, and when I take the derivative of that, the derivative is going to give me 24 x to the second plus 72 x plus 54 okay so we know that if I take this function here I know that this is what the derivative needs to be okay so now we're going to be looking for well how does the chain rule how can the chain rule hurt um, increase this process all right so um, this is going to be what's called the power chain rule okay so I have a function within a function now I'm writing this in red because I don't want you to write this down because this is the error that people tend to make. Okay, and I'm going to show you why this doesn't work. So red means bad. Um, don't write this down. So a lot of people will think, okay, I'm going to take the derivative. So I'm just going to use the power rule. So they're going to put two, three times two x plus three to the second. Okay, and that is wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, so I'll show you why in a second. Um, but if you go y prime, then you're going to go 3 times 4x squared plus um, 2 times 3 is 6x plus 12x plus 9. Okay, And then y prime is going to result in 12x squared plus 36x plus 27. Okay, Well, when we compare this to our answer up here, we can see that everything is just off by a little bit. Um, it's off by 2, okay? And the, where the 2 comes in is that we needed to take the derivative of the inside. Um, so if we're going to get this answer, we would need to multiply it times 2. So let's delete this in our mind and go back. And now let's use the true power rule. Okay, so now we're going to find y prime using the power chain rule. Okay, so the way the power chain rule works, you're going to take your function, 2x plus 3 to the third, and we're going to use the chain rule like we do. We're going to bring the 3 down um, times 2x plus 3 to the second, but then you need to remember always to take the derivative of the inside. This is very, very easy to forget. Do not forget to take the derivative of the inside when you use the power chain rule. So now, when I go to finish up the answer here, I'm going to get y prime is equal to 3. This is going to give me 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 times the derivative of 2x plus 3 is, is 2. Okay, So then that's going to give me y prime equals 12x plus 36x uh, plus 27 all times 2 and that's going to give me y prime is 24 x squared plus 72 x plus 54 and we can see that gives us the answer that we're looking for okay that matches up here and here match so the power chain rule um, is a deals with a function inside of another function, so x cu y cu x cubed is the function, and 2x plus 3 was the inside, and we just always have to remember to take the derivative of the inside function when you're using the power chain rule.